the Dragon by Quebec High School. Mr. Treggett is sitting at his desk in his house, filling out paperwork for the cemetery. He is exasperated and tired. It is late at night. I'm exhausted and fed up. The work just piles up. All this paperwork, my life lacks action. I need some change. A bizarre sound comes from the cemetery. Wait, what's that sound? I better Mr. check it out. I hope nothing was damaged. Mr. Treggett, surprised and intrigued, takes a look at the, br at the bright yellow light coming from the Chinese dragon tomb. What on earth? A bright orange and red dragon appears beside Mr. Treggett. Oh my god! Mr. Treggett pinches himself in an attempt to wake up. I can't believe this. Am I dreaming? The dragon swirls around Mr. Treggett and brings him back to the past. He is brought to an old railway in Quebec. Precisely. Because of destructions in Asia, many Chinese immigrants came to Canada with the promise of work and with the hope of returning to our families with riches. Truthfully, most of us never made it back home. Were you ever able to return? No, I was never that lucky. Were you at least reunited with your family? No, because of the high governmental head tax, we were never able to reunite again. Wow. I can't imagine how it would feel never to have your family with you. It is hard. That is why when I heard you complain, I came to see you. If you were never able to go back to your family, what did you do when the railway was completed? We ventured to various cities throughout Canada. Toronto, Montreal, even Quebec City. The dragon appears as a train and brings them back to a city in Quebec. Really? Quebec City? What was life like over there? We faced many hardships. We were looked down upon. We were the outcasts of the place. Mm -hmm. Even after having built the railway, Canadians still didn't appreciate you for your efforts? No, they didn't care that we risked our lives every day. Did you know that one immigrant died for every mile that was built to the railway? Wow. I can't imagine how much close friends you must have lost. Yes, indeed. We lost many close friends. We had many close encounters with death. This way, all of this, our people our people's communities thrive in various Canadian cities today. We endured. And here I thought life at the cemetery was hard. I'm constantly complaining about the workload and how boring my life is, but in reality, I am actually fortunate. I have a family to look down upon and enough money to eat and live well. Life is all about love and family and learning how to appreciate what we have. These bad times help us in understanding the good times. Thank you, sir. Ha, 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 ha. 